Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 25 to the power of x minus 15 to the power of x. This is equal to 9 to the power of x. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So given that 25 to the power of x subtract 15 to the power of x, this is equal to 9 to the power of x. So the first step here is to divide both signs by 25 to the power of x. So here we have 25 to the power of x. Then here we also have 25 to the power of x. So let's simplify here. 25 to the power of x simplifies so that we have 1 minus. We can express 15. This is the same thing as 5 times 3 raised to the power of x divided by 25. This is the same thing as 5 times 5 raised to the power of x. This is equal to. Now here we have 9. 9 can also be expressed as 3 times 3 raised to the power of x divided by 25, which is actually 5 to the power 5 times 5 to the power of x. The next step is that 5 times 3 raised to the power of x and 5 times 5 to the power of x here as well as what we have here. This is in the form of a to the power of n over b to the power of n. This can be expressed as a over b raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 1 minus, now this is the same thing as 5 times 3 over 5 times 5 here raised to the power of x. Then this is equal to, here we have 3 times 3 divided by 5 times 5 raised to the power of x. So here we can simplify 5 and 5 so that now we have 1 minus, this is 3 over 5 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now this is the same thing as 3 times 3. We can express this as 3 to the power of 2 divided by 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. Now, from here, applying this exponent property again, this implies that we have 1 minus 3 over 5 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now this is 3 over 5 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of x. The next step is that 3 over 5 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 1 minus 3 over 5 raised to the power of x here. This is equal to, now here we have 3 over 5 raised to the power of x, then everything here raised to the power of 2. Now the next step from here, we can let 3 over 5 raised to the power of x be equal to u. Substituting u, we have here 1 minus u. This is equal to u to the power of 2. Now let's take 1 minus u on the right hand side so that now we have u to the power of 2 minus u becomes plus u plus 1 becomes minus 1 this is equal to 0. So we form a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu then plus c this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and that c is equal to minus 1. Substituting the value of, now to solve for u1, comma u2, we apply us the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the value of a, b, and c so that now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared 
minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 the next step is that we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared this is 1 then we have minus 4 times minus 1 this becomes plus 4 then everything here divided by 2 the next step is that we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 this is 5 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that u1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we have that here u2 is equal to now we have minus 1 subtract square root of 5 divided by 2 now we have that u1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and u2 is minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 so if you recall we have that we are saying that let 3 over 5 to the power of x be equal to u substituting the value of u here then we have 3 over 5 raised to the power of x this is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and also we have 3 over 5 raised to the power of x here this is equal to here we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now let's take these two parts here the first part is that 3 divided by 5 raised to the power of x this is supposed to give us a positive value on the right hand side minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 this is also a positive value so this means that we can proceed to solve for the value of x in the first part here on the second part here 3 over 5 raised to the power of x this is supposed to give us a positive value but now minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 this is negative so if we solve for the value of x here by introducing the logarithm here then we find that here we have undefined result here we will have undefined result and this implies that the second part here is rejected the second part is rejected so let's proceed with the first part here which is 3 over 5 raised to the power of x this is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 so to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides so we have log 3 over 5 raised to the power of x this is equal to log minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 we find that log 3 over 5 raised to the power of x this is in the form of log a to the power of n which we can express as n log a applying this power root property then log 3 over 5 raised to the power of x becomes x log 3 over 5 this is equal to log now here we have minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so that now let's divide both sides by log 3 over 5 and also here we have log 3 over 5 so we simplify here and therefore we have that x is equal to log this is minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 then also here divided by log 3 over 5 now you find that log minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and log 3 over 5 this is in the form of log a over b which we can express as log a subtract log b applying this logarithm property then we can express x as this is row minus 1 plus square root of 5 
then subtract rock 2 divided by here we have rock 3 subtract rock 5 so here we have x is equal to now this is the same thing as rock minus 1 plus square root of 5 this is the same thing as minus 1 plus this is the same thing as 2.2361 subtract rock 2 here then divided by rock 3 subtract rock 5 and therefore from here we have x is equal to now rock minus 1 plus 2.2361 this is the same thing as rock. This is 1.2361 subtract rock 2 divided by rock 3 minus rock 5. So this implies that x is equal to rock 1.2361. This is the same thing as 0 0.0921 subtract rock 2 which is 0 0.3010 divided by rock 3 rock 3 here this is 0 0.4771 minus rock 5 this is 0 point that is 69 this is 69897 so that now x is equal to in the numerator part here we have minus 0 point 2089 divided by minus 0 0.22187 so you find that minus and minus simplifies here so that now the value of x is equal to 0 0.9415 so this is the value of x this is the value of x the next step from here let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation now if you recall we entered 25 raised to the power of x minus 15 raised to the power of x this should give us a value of 9 to the power of x let's substitute x so that we have 25 raised to the power of 0 0.941 5 minus 15 raised to the power of 0 0.9415 this is supposed to give us a value of 9 to the power of 0 0.9415 so that now 25 raised to the power of 0 0.9415 this is the same thing as 20.7091 minus 15 to the power of 0 0.9415 this is the same thing as 12.8024. This is supposed to give us a value of 9 to the power of 0 0.9415. This is equal to 7. Point, to, to two decimal places, this is the same thing as 7.91. So if we sum up this, that is if we subtract 20.7091 minus 12.8024, this gives us a value of 7.91, which is equal to 7.91. And this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is equal to 0 0.9415, satisfies the equation. So, can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.